Alright guys, Jack here with 5 Star Cinema. Um, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to do a reflection in Adobe After Effects. Please comment, rate and subscribe. Help me out a lot guys. Okay, so first of all go to Composition, New Composition and make it HDV slash HDTV 720, 29.97 frames per second square pixels and the duration 10 seconds long then let's move on right that was kinda gay right then you're gonna import whatever you wanna reflect um, just pick a picture here sample pictures these are normally good and I will reflect this picture okay so you grab it and drag it into your transition composition right here we go said the wrong word then right and then you're gonna go down to your layer down here select it and click control D then go to the bottom one and right click rename it as reflection hit enter then hit T take your opacity down to 45 you can do this before or after in this one we'll do it after then you're gonna select your reflection right click transform and flip vertically then hold the shift button I mean drag it down hold the shift button in and it'll click it into place and we want it where do we want it you want it to be just about oops select it again there yeah you want it to be like just underneath it so it's like touching it but it's upside down the image then when you take the opacity down you'll see it's like a reflection there around 45 43% I use there is good then make the two layers 3d and parent the reflection by clicking the little tab here to the creek so you just click the little tab and go down to creep.jpg or whatever you've named the first layer okay so now whatever you do with creek will happen with the reflection so they're almost one thing now okay now you're going to insert a new camera so we can get a 3d effect so layer new camera <coughs> if anyone wants to hook me up with an intro for this channel or with a background for my youtube channel that'd be great just message me uh, okay, so now once you've selected your camera, your camera will come up here, come up here. Um, go up to this, the unified camera tool, and you've got these different tools here. you got your orbit, track X, Y. I'll just go through these and track Z or Z. So we'll start with the bottom one. Now track Z just brings it further away and closer to you, like that. <sighs> okay, and track XY just moves it around like so and then orbit gives you the 3D effects 3D effect where you can turn it as if you're looking at it from a side angle like that so I'm just gonna do this quickly now drag it there move it back a bit and there you go that looks like a 3D what's it called reflection there um, other stuff you can do you can also use this to to do a normal reflection on text and stuff I'll just show you it on text quickly let's remove the camera out of the picture and remove these two now if I get my text tool and right here five, ooh, crap, five star cinema like so right there you go God, I've got to stop doing those really gay comments. Like, like so. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No, anyways. Right, so, there you go. Made that a bit bigger. Doing this for you guys. Just for you guys. Also, um, my first mini film or short film's coming soon. So, my short films will only be found on this channel unless I partner up with someone or someone big wants to help me out. Um, okay. Now all you're going to do is the same as what you just did. Control D. Select the bottom layer. There you go. Go to the bottom one. 
rename reflection again. Same process really, I shouldn't really need to go over this, but to show you guys anyways, there's always one. Oh my god, just select to right click transform, flip vertically. There we go. T and let's take this down to forty five percent. Now sometimes with text you need it a lot lower. But there you go guys, you can always like do your gradient tool or your ramp or whatever and make it different as well. But hope you enjoyed this guys. First tutorial here. Jack here, I'm out.